All right, Shalom, Yashallah, peace is real. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shom, Rachakwadash. Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders, a great millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. This is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And um, I just got a quick lesson, okay, because we, today we're on the block and we're going into 2 Peter, the third chapter. All right, and I want to focus on the uh, the seventh verse. And it says, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire. OK. This this present world, OK. Is reserved unto fire. OK, meaning and this is talking about the second death. OK, because the first first time the earth was destroyed by a flood. OK. Now the earth itself will remain, okay, but the works therein, okay, are gonna be dissolved as as it says here in these scriptures. Okay. But I'm gonna read this one more time. It says, But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition or destruction of ungodly men. Okay? So this is the ultimate whammy. This is what's coming, okay? Destruction by fire, death by fire, okay? And that's going to come by the way of the thermonuclear destruction that's coming to this place along with other parts of the world, okay? So, Uh, let me read this one more time and we'll get a couple of more precepts, okay? It says, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserving unto fire against the day of judgment, okay? And perdition of ungodly men. So the day of judgment, this is what's coming for the day of judgment, okay? And, you know, a lot of people, you know, they, they've heard or, you know, through their so-called religions or whatever, or, you know, just may have heard that, oh, the earth is going to end by fire. Yes, yeah, right. You know, but the earth itself, as the scripture says, the earth about it forever. Okay. The earth itself will not be destroyed. Okay. It's the works they're in. Okay. The rulership that's that, uh, the, the people that are in rulership. Okay. And, and the works that they uh, promote are going to be destroyed because we know the book of Job 9 and 24 says the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. Okay. So wickedness is going to be snuffed out. Okay. By the way of fire. Okay. Now let's get a, a, a precept. Okay. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. The 24th chapter. Salakia, okay, in the uh, 19, 19th verse, it says, the earth is utterly broken down, it's clean dissolved, okay, and what's going to clean it is fire, okay, fire is a cleansing agent, okay, it says the earth is utterly broken down, the earth is clean dissolved, the earth is moved exceedingly, and what's going to do that? Well, we see it here on the screen. Okay. Thermonuclear destruction. Okay. It says the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. Okay. And if you, you know, you've ever seen a drunkard, you know, like in the hood or, in the, uh, or where we grew up. Okay. We called them winos, like the winos that stood on the corners. Okay. And you would always see them you know, staggering and, and swaying back and forth, okay? So it's saying the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. What's going to make it do that? When those thermonuclear missiles drop, those warheads, okay? The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, okay? And it shall fall and not rise again, okay? So, 
the, he the heavenly father is going to bring that second death, okay, to cleanse the earth of wickedness, okay, and that wickedness is not going to rise again, okay, it's going to be clean, dissolved, the, the way that things are now are going to be cleaned, okay, the way that the earth is now is going to be cleaned up through fire, okay, through that cleansing agent, and what's going to do that again these warheads, these nuclear warheads, okay? So let's get one more scripture, all right? Because it's going to end with fire. And we're going to go to the book of Joel. Um, you might as well just start at the top. It says, blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain, okay? And that's what you see the prophets of the Lord doing, blowing the trumpet, okay? Giving warning, okay? Um... An alarm is a warning uh, signal, okay, to to let you know something is happening, okay. So we're sounding an alarm, okay. Hey, the Lord is getting ready to return and bring this second death, okay. He's getting ready to cleanse the earth which He made, okay, through fire, all right. And this this earth, this present time, is reserved unto fire. Okay, Joel 2 and 1, blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Okay, so we're telling what the scripture is saying. This is giving the warning. This is blowing that trumpet. All right, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Okay, for the day of the Lord coming, for it is nigh at hand. See, the day of the Lord is coming. People should be trembling. Okay, people should be scared. All right, but we know that they not. Because the majority of people don't even, they don't believe this, okay? But it's like Ripley's, believe it or not, okay? It says, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning is spread upon the mountains, a people, so like a great people and a strong, there had not ever been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. They're not going to be nuclear missiles in the kingdom. Okay. This people is talking about these these missiles. Okay. And the, as we read on. The scripture is going to explain it. To make it a little more clear. It says a fire devoured it before them. And behind them a flame burn it. Okay. The land is as the garden of Eden before them. And behind them, a desolate wilderness, okay? Because they're going to come and lay waste, okay? The earth as it is, okay? Before it and behind it, it's going to be a, a barren field, okay? It says, do that. It says, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. Okay, nothing's going to escape this second death. Nothing is going to escape this cleansing fire. Okay, except for the elect. Okay, and the ones that the, he the Heavenly Father has preserved to make it. Okay, it says, um, verse 4. Uh, Joel 2 and 4 The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses And as horsemen show, So shall they run Okay Like the noise of chariots on top of On tops of mountains Shall they leap Like the noise of a flame of fire That devoured the stubble And the salakia As a strong people Set in battle array Okay so this is talking about those nuclear missiles, man, that are coming to dissolve and cleanse the earth, okay? Oh, that, that ain't nothing, okay? So this is what's coming, okay? This is what was prophesied to take place, okay? A fire that is coming to cleanse, cleanse the earth, all right? And the earth is reserved. The, the earth which is now is reserved unto fire. Okay, so this is that warning that's going out. The fire is coming. It's time to repent. Okay, 
turn back and turn back to our power while he is near. Okay, because the day of the Lord is coming as a thief in the night. Okay, though it tarry, wait for it. It shall surely come. And we see the signs showing that the day of the Lord is not at hand. Okay, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bahakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. It's on to the next one. Until then, I say shalom.